yeah, who exactly. were downgraded the working class kids. You know, it, we were based on our postcodes rather than our actual ability and our intelligence. And, yeah. and that's just not okay because you can look at Eton and they had zero downgrades, like a 0% downgrade. Some kids even got upgraded and so it's just like, they dealt with it awfully, yeah. but this is great news. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, I don't. It's like a mix, mixed feelings. So yeah. Do you see the news? I feel, I feel great. The government's finally taking responsibility. Yeah. They should have done veto. They are owning up to their mistake and they're going off teachers' test grades, which is the fairest way without making people feel like they've lost faith in the system. It is a victory, but it's a, it's a victory in defeat. Clearing's already over. Lots of people, especially in medical schools in Oxford and Cambridge, have already lost their places. They're already, their lives have already been changed by this. The grades aren't going to make a difference. It's just letters on paper. I was downgraded um, in two of my A-levels and so now that's gone back up and I can get into uni, into my firm and not just my insurance. Um, so yeah, and I'm going to like one of the best architecture unis, so it's like, it's, it's just amazing, <laughs> like I don't even know how to put it into words. Yeah. I was predicted ABB but I got BBC and so that, mean, that meant I couldn't study the course I wanted to. Um, I was one of the lucky ones though because I got on offer at the same uni but for a different course but I'm hoping now that they've been reversed that I can actually get onto the course I wanted to do.